Hey guys, so I've already done a review on e.l.f. lip products, which overall were mostly hits for me, and I really wanted to get this video up on e.l.f. eye products because this was more sort of a mixed bag of both hits and misses for me, and there were some that were just total misses, so luckily these e.l.f. products are pretty cheap. Usually with both the Studio and the Mineral products, you can catch them on sale for 50% off, which means that each product is only about $1.50. Um, so that's really not bad at all. So it does kind of give you the ability to kind of try stuff out, see what you like, see what you don't like. And um, let's see. So first of all, I have to show you the one that you definitely should not purchase. And um, that is this e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner crayon. And um, it may be waterproof, but I just, it's so hard to get it to come out. Um, if I press really hard, I can get it to come out on my hand. But the thing is that on your eye area, the skin is very, very soft and very, very flexible. So uh, unlike your hand, which has this very firm, um, it's kind of, you know, easy to work with skin where you can just kind of really push down hard and make those lines. Um, the skin on your eye is just going to sort of like move around if you try to push down hard. And you really don't want to push down hard because on your delicate eye area, you don't want to kind of, you know, you don't want to kind of force eye makeup onto your eye. You want to be able to just use a gentle touch. So um, it was really hard for me to get these waterproof eyeliner crayons to go onto my eye at all. It was just like I would try and my eye skin would just sort of move and it was it was pretty frustrating. So I did not like the waterproof eyeliner crayons. Um, but I did feel that the e.l.f. Jumbo Eyeshadow Sticks, um, I believe these are actually only $2, so if they're on sale they're only $1. I thought these worked a little bit better because it you can get product to come out with a much lighter touch. Um, I don't know if this is showing up on camera, but with sort of a much gentler touch, like I'm just sort of lightly tapping right here, with a much lighter and gentler touch I can get product to come out, and I would compare these to NYX pencils, so if you do like those you might like these too. Um, I found that the formula is pretty similar and they have a nice variety of colors, so yeah, I would definitely check these out if you like NYX jumbo pencils but you want a little bit of a cheaper option and I like the fact that you just turn this bottom part here to get them to go up and down you don't have to worry about trying to sharpen them which I still don't know how to sharpen jumbo pencils it's just too hard for me I need to watch a how-to video or something but um, one other product that I like is this elf liquid eyeliner and um, the applicator is just a teeny little brush it actually seems to be pretty similar to NYX eyeliners, um, liquid eyeliners. It has this just very, very delicate little brush. Um, this one I have in brown, and I find that it does pretty um, good as far as it doesn't really smudge a lot. Um, as long as you apply it and you're not kind of opening and closing your eye a lot as you apply it, it won't smear onto your eyelid, and then it'll kind of stay pretty much in place for most of the day. Maybe by the end of the day, it may sort of start to get a little bit wonky, but it will perform pretty well for probably about eight hours. Um, so I would say, sorry, I'm getting all these eyeliners everywhere. Um, so yeah, I would say that was okay. And as far as these eyeshadows go, um, honestly, I have here the e.l.f. Pigment eyeshadow, and this is a powdery shadow. I believe this is the studio shadow. And then this e.l.f. eyeshadow, which is, I think, their mineral. Yeah, their e.l.f. mineral line. And this one is in Trendy. And then, I don't know what this one is. I think it's just a black one. But, I mean, I think just for me, and this isn't necessarily just about e.l.f. Do you see how I... Okay, I just opened and closed this eyeshadow, and I've got, like, a product all over my hands now. I think these powder eyeshadows just they don't really work that well for me. I just feel like they're really messy and it's hard to open them and close them and use them without kind of ending up with getting with powder everywhere because even if, and now I have it on my hand again, but even if the powder stays in this little top area, all you have to do is sneeze or have, you know, something kind of fall nearby and a little bit of, uh, just have a little gust of air and the powder will just sort of fly everywhere. So it's just, for me, it's just, way, uh, it's just more trouble than it's worth. I've got eyeshadow on my hands now, 
and oh my gosh, I've got it like on my leg now too. So kind of the same thing with the mineral eyeshadows. Um, I actually, the mineral eyeshadows are not as bad as um, the Studio Pigment eyeshadows is in terms of just getting everywhere. But they both have that kind of going on a little bit. So, I mean, maybe it's just me not wanting to deal with powder eyeshadows. If you guys prefer um, these, if you guys really prefer powder products, then maybe you wouldn't mind these. And I have tried some that are packaged in such a way that it doesn't, it isn't as messy. But with these, they definitely are messy and you will kind of get powder everywhere. Um, so I did this, uh, last eyeshadow I have here is an e.l.f. pressed mineral eyeshadow and this one's pressed. So you don't have the same issue with just stuff falling and getting everywhere because it is just a regular pressed eyeshadow. The only thing is that in general with single eyeshadows, and you guys are probably aware of this, it is a little bit more annoying to deal with multiple single eyeshadows than to just use a palette. So I find myself reaching for palettes a lot more than these types of single eyeshadows. So you might want to keep that in mind and just think about what's going to work for you before you splurge on getting tons and tons of single eyeshadows because even though these are pretty cheap, just you know a dollar fifty each, you might prefer to save your money and put it towards a palette than to get a whole bunch of single eyeshadows because then every time you use them you're going to have to like open up every single eyeshadow. Um, I guess you can get one of those Z palettes or palettes that allow you to combine a bunch of different little eyeshadows into one magnetic palette, but I'm actually, I can't speak to whether or not these particular eyeshadows will pop out of their trays. I assume they probably do, but I guess that's an option that you can think about. But unless you're going to go for one of those Z palettes, you might find it too annoying to deal with single eyeshadows. But other than that issue, I found that this is pretty pigmented. Um, I have this in Out All Night. It's it's like this gray color with kind of blue sparkles to it, um, but it is fairly pigmented. Um, it doesn't have a lot of fallout, but um, these two powders did actually, sorry if I sound a little bit gross, I keep like sneezing, which I'll probably have to edit out of the video, but um, I think these powders are getting my nose or something, but anyway, um, these two did have a little bit more fallout than the pressed mineral eyeshadow. So overall, I would say the best products probably out of all of these are the e.l.f. Liquid Eyeliner and the e.l.f. Jumbo Eyeshadow Stick. And honestly, for the rest of these, I would probably just skip them unless you just really want to try them, in which case, honestly, go for it. It's $1.50, so you could just pick up one of these and say, you know what, I just want to try it out, see how it works, and if you don't like it, then whatever, it was $1.50. So, um, yeah, but definitely I would say if you don't want to try something out that may not work, I would just go with the Jumbo eyeshadow stick and the liquid liner. If you have any other questions, then leave them down in the info box. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!